All right, and I definitely want to save after that uh, panic duel, yeah. Uh, excuse me. Uh, and I did hit stop, right? Okay, yeah, now I can do the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? What my 14 here. Uh, we're just back with a little bit of the night duel. You know, night nurture manure. Back with a little bit of the night tour. Uh, let's see who all we can find here. I'll do. Oh, I guess I'll do Para. Or no, is this? This is Docs, right? Yeah, green is Docs. Green is Docs. Hey, Docs, what's going on, buddy? Ha 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 ha! Yes, we know, we know, we know. You say the same thing every time, you fool. Therefore, I shall not repeat your dialogue. Labyrinth Shadow, make you brothers. Ah, yes. And now, which was this guy in the Japanese sub? Was he May or Q? He was May. The Japanese isn't the best, but uh, anyway, I activate Pot of Grief. This allows me to draw two cards from my deck. Next, I'll set this monster in defense. This ends my turn, Docs. Now, let's see what I can unlock. Oh, cost down. Not good, not good. Ooh, and he has Sinister Serpent. Okay, I'm gonna try the magic train. But I doubt it'll work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Wait, what? But... But wait. But wait. But, but, but you... What? He used cost down for a... What? Docs, you're confusing me here, buddy. You used cost down for a level two... Giant, what? I don't know what's going on here, guys. Um, Gargoyle Power. Kogik Shoji. Hand Cold. Uh, attack? Why did he not play like a level 5 or 6 monster there? What? I don't know what's going on, guys. I Dox is confounding me again. Next thing you know, this guy's going to play Shield and Sword and tribute his Vibrant Ball. You're breaking the barrier here, Dobbs. You're breaking the barrier. Anyway, how are you guys doing? Uh, today is October the 8th. 8th. Uh, now he's gonna... Ah, oh, okay. So he had Monster Chain for the whole time. Okay, okay. Okay. It's making a little more sense, but not really. Okay, okay. Monster Tamer, I can handle. No face downs? That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. No face downs. All right, so here's the plan. I'm gonna summon Dragumo and not attack. Next turn, two tribute for Suijin. That's the plan. Uh, all right, that's fine. Yep. Okay. Interesting, he moved Monster Chamber to defense. Ooh, Fissure. That almost changes my mind about what I want to... You know what? You know what? Yeah, um... Okay. Activate Fissure. Bye-bye. Yep. And now we summon... Giant Red Sea Snake. Because we can do 4,000 directs. Yeah, that almost changes my mind there, Docs. Uh, call heads. Nice. Attack his weak point for massive damage. Now, my Red Sea Snake floods the field. Alright. That was a pretty good turn, if I do say so myself. Your move. Your move. Honestly, guys, I don't have much to talk about here. I mean, basically, the duel's going pretty smooth. Ooh, now, this is a good combo, honestly, in our deck. Yeah, uh, Mask of Darkness and Negate Attack. Basically, with that combo, you can negate uh, two battle phases in a row. And honestly, that's pretty good. That's very good. Um, yeah. Can help me set up for basically any two tribute summon. So, yeah. Pretty good combo, pretty good combo. Uh, I'll call heads again. 
I don't know. Maybe it's jealous, but oh, we guess right. Hey, today's our lucky day. Good job, Jiraigumo. And he's down to a thousand. All right. Yeah, this duel is going so well, I don't even know what to say. I mean, yeah, he keeps, you know, using Sinister Serpent over and over, which is kind of annoying, but don't really have a good way to get rid of that card, so let me just talk about the uh, very few ways to get rid of Sinister Serpent in this game. Number one, Soul Release. Number two, Grave Digger Ghoul. Uh, number three, Banisher of the Light. Is that even in this game? Uh, yeah, I think Banisher of the Light is in this game. Wait, why does he have Versago? Oh! Yeah, doesn't this guy have a uh, Labyrinth Tank? Yeah, he has like Cannon Soldier. And you used to make Labyrinth Tank with Giga Tech Wolf and Cannon Soldier. Okay, well, anyway. But yeah, Sinister Serpent. Uh, there's also Fiend. Fiend Comedian? There's Fiend Comedian. But you have to guess the coin toss right. Oh, and let me uh, just show you guys the points here. Yeah, 119. Pretty solid. Uh, yeah, there's Fiend Comedian. Uh, what else is there? Ah, I want you to get your face. I shall put you in your place. You are a disgrace. Ooh, that was clean. That was clean. Um, what else can vanish in this game? Because Macrocosmos is not in this game, guys. Yeah, this game is old. Macrocosmos is not in this game. Um, is, uh... I don't even think Dimensional Fisher's in this game, is it? Guys, is Dimensional F Fisher in this game? I don't think so. Yeah, feel free to connect. Hey, got a question. Is Dimensional Fisher in this game? Feel free to let me know below. Ah, uh, no new mail. And yes, there is a reason I'm checking mail. Wait, let me actually click on it. Let me actually... Ah, uh, no, okay. So, in order to tr tr trigger your... A story thing... You will need a certain piece of mail, just a heads up. Uh, so yeah, check your mail every day. I would highly yeah, advise that. Anyway, uh, what time are we at? Uh, like seven minutes? Okay, let's buy a few packs here. Uh, just for, you know, posterity. Because the game's always, uh, the game is ever evolving. And uh, yeah, new packs are new life. Um, yeah, so um, not gonna save scum. Um, we're just gonna buy, let's buy like, Three or four packs. I don't know, guys. Not gonna save scum. Let's just see if we get anything interesting. Giant germ. Kinda interesting, yeah. Ooh. Wow, that's actually not bad. So check this out. That's the trap hole. Yeah, you check a face down defense position monster. If defense is 2,000 or less, which, I mean, let's be honest, most of the time it is gonna be, yeah, destroy it. So kinda slow, but this can help you close out duels. So I kinda recommend it, honestly. That was a super rare, so... Yeah, let's go on to Infinite Illusion. Uh, wow, that was actually really good. Yeah. Yeah, jeez. Uh, ulti Offering, yeah. Shallow Grave, interesting. Now, this card is interesting. Windstorm of Ataqua. It's kind of sneakily good, so change the battle positions of all your opponent's monsters... Yeah, that are face up. So, at first glance, you may be like, ah, it's a crappy battle position card. But honestly, think about it. If all your opponent's monsters are in attack mode, this ends the battle phase. It's kind of like zero gravity, except it only works on your opponent's side of the field. The other thing you have to think about is, like I said, a lot of monsters will have high, 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 high attack, but low defense. Like, like Gemini Elf. Let's take Gemini Elf, one of the best four stars in the game. 900 defense, 1,900 attack. So using this, you can really get over most of the problematic monsters. Uh, I was going to say Jinzo, but Jinzo stops traps. But even Jinzo, if you think about it, 1,500 defense, 2,400 attack. So even Jinzo, if you can like Book of Moon Jinzo, it's kind of not a threat if you really think about it. Uh, Shallow Grave... Again, if you're using a flip effect deck, this card's infinitely better. Um, it is revival, so. But just keep in mind, your opponent does have to have a card in the graveyard for it to work. So, 
the biggest key to shallow grave is using it when they have like mostly trash in the grave. So now anti spell fragrance. Even this card is even good in the modern era. That's all I have to say. Like legit. Put it in your deck. It works wonders. Your opponent can't like straight up how to greed. You know, basically play all your good spells to start. Set this. You kind of lock them, kind of, you know. And then even if they set their pot of greed, you can target it with like this tornado, maybe destroy it. Yeah, that's. Yeah, this card's pretty good. This card's really good. Uh, let's pick a pack of. What else do I want? I guess we'll pick another pick of this. Uh, I'm not really sure what cards I want. Just kind of buying packs, just to, you know, just to buy them. Labyrinth Wall, pretty good. 3,000 defense. Reliable Guardian, sneakily good. A lot of monsters in this game will have 2k defense, but if you add this to it, you can basically repel pretty much any attack from the enemy AI at this point, at this point in the game, yeah. So, really good, really good. Uh, Let's buy just one more. Yeah, and I'll buy one more of the blue. And I think that'll be it for today, as far as buying packs. Lajin! Uh, how many Lajin do I have? Also, Nuzzler. I think Nuzzler is just going to straight up replace Stim Pack, so that's really good, honestly. Glad we got that. And yeah, I'll buy this one. And then that'll be it. That'll be it. I'm going to save the rest of our points. So, Unity. Okay. Gilosaurus. I talked about that. Ooh, wow. So this card's banned. Yeah, check it out. Look at your opponent's hand, select one card, turn to the deck and shuffle it. Really good. Gila Source, I talked about this during our duel with Rex, but having the speed to special summon can honestly help. And of course, if you use it when your opponent's graveyard's empty, it's a free special summon. Level three, works in gravity mind strategies. Uh, but Unity, Unity. So, there is a way to win if you include just high defense cards like Big Shield Gardener, Labyrinth Wall, etc. You get like three or four of those, and then you use Unity. I mean, honestly, the reflect damage can be so high that you straight up win if you really think about it and really build your deck around it. But uh, yeah, uh, Gila Source and Forceful Sentry, I think we'll add for sure, as well as my level of Nuzzler, so. Yeah, we got some good cards. Uh, yeah. So let's go home and save. And I will edit the deck. So yeah, click on the home icon. Save. There we go. Alright. Yeah. And now we go here. There we go. Deck construction. And, uh... Uh, oh, right, I need to go to the trunk. And yeah, that's basically going to be the end of this episode. Um, I don't think I'll have enough time for another duel. Uh, I do want acid in my side deck. I mean, acid trap. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the way I said that. Oh, yes, I do want acid in my side deck. No, no, I want acid trap hole in my side deck. Uh, yeah, I think Share the Pain is obsolete at this point. I mean, Sword of Dragon Soul, eh, it's interesting, but Stim Pack and Nuzzler are better, let's be honest. Uh, so, yeah. And I will get rid of Stim Pack. It's kind of an early game card. Uh, well, actually, maybe I should get rid of Sword of Dark Destruction. Yeah, it's kind of, uh, we're getting better stuff here, so that can go. Uh, <laughs> it was just so funny. I was like, yeah, I, I could use acid in my deck. Yeah. I'm sure this video is not getting demonetized at all on the side deck. Uh, you are right. Yeah, even this, I might want in the side deck. No, I think about it. Yeah, there we go. And uh, side deck. Uh, we can take out Great White. We can take out Red Eyes. I think we're past the Red Eyes stage. Uh, even Cosigen, yeah. Uh, yeah, this can go. Yeah. Okay. 
So we got Forceful Sentry. I think it has a T, right? It's one of those tricky uh, uh, T. We'll just kind of click here and go down. Uh, T, T, T. Yeah, and it is banned, as you guys see by the, uh, the kind of symbol there. So, yeah. Even banned in this game. That's crazy. Yeah, and see, even if you click on it, you get this sound effect. So, there you go. So, yeah, if you ever get that sound effect, that card is banned. Uh, what's next? Malevolent Nuzzler? Right. Yeah, that's definitely good. Uh, Lajin? How many Lajin do we have? Oh, we have three. Okay, good. Okay. Well, I wasn't sure. Uh, what else did we get? Windstorm of Batakwa? Honestly, that card's not that bad, honestly. Uh, yeah, where was it? Yeah, there we go. Windstorm. Um, so we got... Oh, yeah, Gila's Ors. Gila's Ors. That's what I was... I knew I was like, man, there's one thing, like... Has that ever happened to you guys? You're just kind of, like, focused on the game. You're like... Ah, there's something I wanted to put in, but I should, God, I should have wrote it down or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Curse of Fiend. So this kind of works like Windstorm of Atakwa. Kind of. Um, yeah. Changes all position. Except this is not a trap, so I don't find this as usable. But it's it's here. I mean, it's it, it's not bad. Honestly, it's really not that bad. Um, what else? Burfamet. Well, that's good for fusion because you can basically add the piece you need, and all you need is poly. So that's that's kind of good. Uh, what else? What else? I think that's it. Uh, I'm gonna throw this in just so we have a card in our fusion deck. But uh, yeah, uh, I think I will take out. Now, what, as far as what I'll take out, I think I'll take out. can't wait until we get better spell and trap destruction, because I'm for sure taking out the ninjas for, like, Dust Tornado, Missing Space Light Boom, but until we get those, the ninjas are kind of necessary, honestly, kind of, yeah. This is a Crush Card target, no other reason it's here. Yeah, we do have some cleaning up to do, believe it or not, in our deck, but, uh, it's okay for now, it's okay for now. We have two Dion Quito, interesting. Is there something here I want to take out for Dion Quito, the second one? Honestly. Um, I, I actually like how Horn of Heaven has worked. It's kind of surprised me. Uh, but negating a summon, that's... Yeah. And yeah, as you guys see, I only have one Metamorph. I just keep drawing it. Heart of the cards. Right, Heart of the cards. Uh, I think that'll do... I will take out, uh, I'll side out Windstorm, and I'll side out Offering, too. Um, yeah, for now, just for now, just for now. And we'll save. Okay. Uh, I don't know which one this is, but this will be five, I guess, on Flood's Paradise. Yeah, okay. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for me, guys. And we will say la vie. Anyways, uh, next time, we will head out and go up against some of the early morning duelists. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Have a good day.